Hello guys, in this video I'll be teaching you how to create a product packaging design. Alright, um, the dimension we're going to be using for this is 9.6 by 7.1 inches. So press Ctrl N, okay. change your unit of measurement to inches, 9.6 by 7.1 inches. Resolution 300 pixel column or CMYK, then we create. Now this is our product package dimension. Now um, depending on the product package you're designing, the dimension should be peculiar to the content or the product package that you are designing. All right, so once we've gotten our canvas, the next thing to do is to unlock and uh, let's not just blind the layer for now. So we're going to, okay, let's bring the ruler, place it here, place the ruler here, here and here, then place in the middle of the canvas. All right, now we're going to create the front page of our product package. All right, so it should be four inches by 7.1, so four inches, by 7.1 all right this is it so drag it to the middle all right so at this point the next thing for us to do is to duplicate this front page this is this is now the front page of the product package we are, we are going to be designing let's duplicate this press ctrl j then let's change the color to something different to contrast then press ctrl t then drag it in let it be half of the front page then move it to the to your left good check so this, okay, let me move this, duplicate this again, hold down Alt, duplicate, hold, and move it to your right. These two back pages will meet at the back and form one back page. All right, the next thing for us to do is to bring our ruler and place here at this point. So place the ruler here, then keep it, get the ruler, place it here too. Place the ruler here for the top. Here, yeah, let's adjust it a bit for the top, then bring it down here for the bottom. Now, the next thing for us to do is to bring the ruler, place it here, and place it here. So every we are going to be bringing in for the back design should not go beyond this line these two lines they will do the same thing here and for the front page so bring it here and bring the ruler here then for the front page bring the ruler here and uh, here take it in a bit okay this is it so everything we are going to be designing for the front page will be inside here to not go beyond this line or this or beyond here the same thing for the back page the two back pages that will join at the back. All right, let's now start bringing in elements and compositing design. Okay. The next thing for us to do is to duplicate this front page. Okay, first of all, let's change the color. Change the color to this shade of yellow. I think this is good. Then the same for the two back pages. Okay, so now we'll start adding structure. Let's duplicate this, duplicate the front page. Okay, let's um, create, uh, let's contrast the these two parts that the selling machine is going to seal. Let's make it another shade of yellow. Okay. I think this is good. Okay. The next thing for us to do is to come to the front, duplicate it, Ctrl J. Ctrl J, we can change the color of the one on top to something else. Let's make it white. Okay, then press Ctrl T, scale this down a bit, then take this up a bit. All right, then we can actually uh, increase it, increase the width, increase the width. Now, the next thing for us to do is to click on Warp. Then from here, you curve it in, we'll create the curve for the top and the bottom. Okay, so once we've created the curve we want, depending on what you want, once we've created the curve we want, you check. All right, so um, we can actually clip mask this inside this background, inside the front page. So you can hold down Alt and click in the line in between though is already inside the 
background. Okay. So let's leave the clip mask. The next thing for us to do is to. All right. The next thing for us to do is to duplicate this change. Okay. First of all, before we duplicate that, let's bring in the element will clip mask into this curve. All right. So go to folder where we have it and drag this change into the composition. Drag it into the composition, scale it down a bit. Scale it down a bit. Make sure that before you drag this change into the composition, make sure that the layer where you want to um, clip mask it into is selected so that once you drag it in, the change layer will be directly on top of the layer of the place you want to clip mask it into. So I can right click on the change, right click on it, say create clipping mask. It's now inside the shape. Now, the next thing for us to do is click on the shape, press Ctrl J, duplicate it. Then, so the one under, press Ctrl, select the one under, press Ctrl T, then scale it up, holding Shift and Alt. All right, once you scale it up, this point, hold down Ctrl and push this in a bit. And hold down Ctrl, still push this point in. Once you've done that, check, say, OK. Then duplicate the one you've uh, um, adjusted. Duplicate it, press Ctrl J, duplicate it. Change the color to red, the one under to red. Press Ctrl T and hold and Shift and Alt. Scale it up. Increase the, the height. Once you've done that, hold and um, Ctrl and take this down. So overlap a bit. Same thing with this point. Let it overlap a bit. Once you've done that, say OK, or you check. All right. So once we've gotten this, click here and uh, go drag in. This is the right bar. All right. So click here. Let's drag in this change. In. We want to create something like a watermark with the chin chain under. All right, so right click, say, create clipping mask. All right, then reduce the opacity. Reduce the opacity to, I think 11 is okay. Or uh, let's reduce it more, make it six, six or seven is okay. Six seven is okay. So duplicate this the 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 chain chain. The image duplicate this image, which is the image of the chain chain. Then drag it to be on top of the layer of the left back. Okay. Then clip mask it inside the shape. Move it to this point. Okay. All right, now for here, I think we have to click on this part, press Ctrl T, um, let it overlap. Okay, once you've done this, you say OK. Once you've done this, this you say OK. Now the next thing for us to do is to bring in this logo, the logo of the Chinchim, Amiibo Chinchim. Okay. Drag it into your composition. Scale it down. Place it. Drag it up. I think this point is OK for it. Let's leave it here. So this is the logo and the name of the Chinchim. Amiable Chinchim. Okay, the next thing for us to do is to start getting other elements into the design. All right, so I go back to my folder where I have other elements. So I bring it, I bring this in, drag this into the composition. So scale it down, holding down, shift and all, depending on the Photoshop you are using. Okay, scale it down. Say, okay, check. Bring it to this point. 
and uh, leave it there. Okay. Now, okay, we also have to um, clip mask the image of the chain chain here and reduce the opacity. But we're going to make the opacity to be lesser than what we have here to contrast. So I click on the front page, go drag in the chain chain. Let's scale it down a bit. Take it up. All right, check. Then reduce the opacity. Reduce the opacity to maybe six, yes. Reduce the opacity to six or even five. Let's make the opacity five. All right, let's make the opacity five. Then let's go to our shape, go to custom shape and uh, get something like will look like a star to create a splash in the background. Let's come with the background selected. Okay. Get my shape and I I create. Okay. Mm, let me change the color to orange. Reduce the opacity. Let's see how it look like. Okay. Press Ctrl T, scale it up a bit. Okay. Then duplicate it, Ctrl J. The one on top, press Ctrl T, scale it down, holding that Shift and Alt. Scale it down. Okay. This is not bad. Let's leave it like this. Okay, now I have a folder where I've written elements that we'll be using in this design. So let me open the Word document where it is as we continue to design. Go to my shape, go to ellipse and create an ellipse. This is where we're going to rise the price of the chain chain. So take this up, okay, drag the layer up, drag it up. Okay, so change the color to red. Change the color to red. All right, now, once we change the color to red, then the next thing for us to do is to um, double click on the layer of the ellipse. Double click on the layer to get layer style, then drop shadow. We're going to make it white. Okay, this stroke is okay, but had it been this is not here, maybe maybe we'll have another color, maybe say blue. What we can do is to come here, blend mode, double click here, change the color to the color we want. This is what we want here is white. Then the distance, if the distance is not what you want, you can bring it down. If the spread is not what you want, you can bring it down. You can. This is the spread we want. If the size is not what you want, you can take it up or you can bring it down. So this is this, the size we want. I think this is okay. Say okay. All right. So this is the point where we'll write the price of the chain chain. Okay. So we'll, we'll get to that. Or let's just do it straight up. So get your test tool and... Uh, write the price of the chain chain. Okay, bring it in here. Change the color to white. Make it bold, this is Swiss. Let's make it bold. Okay, so this is the price of the chain chain. Okay. Now, we want to create a test that will run from here and follow this curve line. So before you do that, first of all, select this curve. Okay, 
first of all, select this curve, then get your test tool and uh, come close to the curve and you see this, your cursor will change. So once it changes, you can click on it and start writing. But what we want to write is jolly, jolly changing. All right, jolly, jolly changing. Okay, so check, or oh, you can select it, press Ctrl A, select it, press Ctrl A, come here and reduce the size of your test, maybe to 18, push it in. Once you're done, say OK. You can actually drag it up a bit. Let's increase the font size to 20. Say Enter. All right, so this is OK. So we increase the font size to 20. Jolly, jolly, change him. OK, the next thing for us to do is to put exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. All right, at this point. OK. All right, once we've done this, uh, the next thing we're going to do is to write keeps you craving for more. All right, so let's go to the folder where we'll have the write-up for copy it and come to copy and paste. Click it somewhere here and paste. Okay. Press Ctrl T, scale it down. Go to character Roman, then change the color to black. Okay. You can take the name up a bit, then drag this up a bit. Okay. Now the next thing for us to do is to there should be something like your one and only crunchy change in here. So this is it. We'll get, get this, right click, copy it, come and paste it somewhere here. Reduce the, press Ctrl T, scale it down. Okay, so we'll change the color of this crunchy to red. Here and uh, this is it. We can actually increase the font size of Crunchy. We can actually increase the font size to let's say 14. All right, so this is it. All right. The next thing for us to do is to start bringing in other elements that will be at the back. All right. So it will be good if the name is also at the back here. So I, I hold down Alt and duplicate it, bring it to this point. Press Ctrl T, scale it down, scale it down, scale it down a bit more. Okay, then place it somewhere here. Place it somewhere here. All right, now um, this product is supposed to have an expiring date, so we'll go get it. Okay, this is it, the expiry date. Let's copy it and uh, place it somewhere here. Okay, so let's pr press Ctrl T, scale it down. Change the color to black. Okay. With this selected, go to your character, go to paragraph, and do left alignment. Align it to the left, then bring it in more. So this is it. Uh, let's make it to align a bit with the, the name at the other side. Okay. Okay, this is okay. 
No. We go, we start bringing in other elements like the ingredients used for this chin chin and uh, the nutrition information. Okay. Okay, let's first of all go to your shape. Go to custom shape. Let's create a banner that will write all the stuff in. Okay, I think this is okay. You can use any banner of your choice to do that. So I create this banner. Zoom in. Press Ctrl T and increase enlarge the width. Okay, press Ctrl T, zoom in and increase the width more. Okay, it can get to this line, no problem. It can also get to this line, no problem. Ctrl T, let it get to this line, no problem. Okay, so we can we will change the color of this to white. Let's change the color to white. Then get okay, get um, a rectangle and uh, create a rectangle, change the color to red, change the color to red. So write ingredients here and list the ingredients here and other information that can enter here. Hold on, sh sh select this, hold on, shift, select this, then duplicate it, move it to the left back. Okay. Okay, so here now, whoa, we'll get your test tool and uh, write ingredients in capital. Okay, scale, press Ctrl T, scale it down and uh, place it here. Place it here. Okay, duplicate this, bring it to this point. Here we'll write nutrition information. Okay, press Ctrl T, scale it down. Now, we already have the information, the ingredient and the nutrition information in this Word document. So let's come here. This is ingredients, so let's copy it. Once you've gotten your, your test tool, you can click and hold and draw your test box. Okay, so you can paste the ingredients here. Say OK. Then go to character, reduce the size, maybe to six. The leading, reduce it to maybe nine. Okay. I think everything has entered. We can actually reduce it to eight. Good. Okay. Let's reduce the width. Okay, just centralize it here. Then the next thing for us to do is to, okay, let's increase the width, the height of this text box so that we can accommodate other things that we want to include here. Okay, so go to your Word document, manufacturer and distributor, then customer care line, or we enter inside the same banner. So we'll copy this from here. Press enter, then paste it. Okay, I think everything has entered, so we can select this, make it bold. Come here, make it bold. Select distributor, distributed by, make it bold. Okay, customer care line number. 
make it bold okay all right so check this is it oh we'll come to nutrition information let's put some of the items that we're supposed to have here something like made in nigeria and uh, other icons let's get this and this and uh, what else and this these three i um images drag them into your composition get this anyone you bring in you scale it to you bring scale it down because it's not supposed to be too, big so scale this scale it down scale it down then scale it down increase it a bit okay so just drop this here bring this here then get this and drop it somewhere here zoom in and balance them all right so this is it so select the three of them balance it here in the middle balance it Okay, once this is done, um, we can actually take this up a bit. Take it up a bit so that we can bring, it can accommodate other elements that should come in, like the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Okay, so let's then drag it in into your composition. Scale it down. Okay, scale it down. And scale it down. Okay. So now I can place them here. I think I still need to scale them down because they are too big. So I'll select the three of them and press control. See, scale them down. The next thing for us to do is to do, okay, we can actually leave this. Change the, double click on this layer. For layer style to come up, do color overlay. Color overlay, change it to blue. Say, okay. Okay, so. The social media handle is um, Amir Bochenchen. We'll now move to the nutrition information. Okay, this is nutrition information. Okay, at this point, we need to bring in the nutrition information. So the first of the first thing we're going to bring in is the is this. So bring this in. Copy. Paste. Okay. Make it red. Make it red. Okay. So go get this uh, average quantity. Copy it, paste. Make it black. Okay. 
then copy daily value. Okay. Okay, so let's copy the rest, copy, then Create a text box for all of them. And paste them. Okay, so this is it. So, okay, we can actually make this. Let's zoom in. Can make this red and leave this as black. Okay. This 16G is supposed to align with this for a bit, so just put your cursor somewhere here and start hit delete so that it drags it in. I think this is okay at this point. Okay. I think this is okay. So let's change this to black. Change this to black. Okay. Then there's something more we need to add. Okay, let's copy this and uh, paste here. Get a text box and draw and paste it inside here. Okay, drag this down to make sure that nothing went inside. Okay, so this is it. I can actually change the color of this to red. Okay. Change the color to red. Okay. No. Okay, the next thing we're going to get is uh, this. Create a text box and paste it inside it. Control V. Change the okay. Go to character paragraph. Let it be align in center alignment. Okay, and change the color to black. Change the color to black. Okay. You can put your cursor here and hit enter to space out the net weight and this, to space out the net weight, then you can increase the font size to maybe 11 or let's say 10. 10 is not bad. Or, okay, let's make it 9. 9 is not bad. Let's wait to nine. Okay. So we can actually, now at this point, we can just create some little effects. Uh, maybe get your ellipse to, get your ellipse to, and draw your ellipse. Go to fill, go to gradient, then change this color here to red. 
then you can leave the okay let's make this one lighter red or light red let's make it light red or leave it at white okay okay let's make it yellow let's make it yellow okay this is it let's make it yellow so you can reduce the opacity reduce the opacity then duplicate it randomly let's keep it here keep one here one here you can keep one here you can keep another one here look at this randomly then you can still bring it here duplicate it randomly duplicate it randomly okay the same thing for here just keeps one here you can keep another one here holding that out duplicating this randomly okay Okay, so I think this is it. If you want, you can take one up or one or two up. But I think it will be okay. Let's just leave it at this point. Let's just leave the, the top free. All right. I think we are done with this design wow in our next video i'm going to teach you how to mock this pop thank you very much for watching if this video was helpful like subscribe and share subscribe to amiable media for more videos like this